Okay, here we have a look at the furnace, and we're looking for the transformer. And in this case, there it is, right there. Now these things can be located in various places, but you are looking for something like that. Now that's on the side of the IFC in this one. And these are the wires we're going to need to deal with. Okay, here I'm depressing the door switch with my thumb. And if you look down below, you'll see blinking light. Uh, there's several blinking lights on this machine, but uh, that's telling you if those lights, any lights are on down there, your 24 volt is working. Of course, in this case, the fan has started up, so I know uh, it's working. However, if I had nothing at all down there, that means I don't have 24 volts. Also, it could mean I don't have 110 volts. Uh, but the lights are going to tell me if 24 is there. So, essentially what I'm trying to do with the transformer, and I'm going to show you one outside of the machine here right quick. And it's power in, no power out. Okay, here I'm showing a small transformer outside the unit. Maybe a little easier to tell. Okay, I've got probes in here. Now, I'm not reading any power in the probes because this is the power coming in. Sometimes, if you don't get it in there far enough, they won't show. This is very important. When you're dealing with wire nuts, you've got to get them in there so that they're making contact. Now, this one doesn't appear to be... So I'm going to loosen this wire nut a bit. Now you notice it just came up. Make sure your contacts, if you're using wire nuts, if there's wire nuts on these things, make sure that your contacts are good. I'm showing 121. Okay, so there is power coming in. So now we're going to look to power coming out. Now this one has three terminals. There's only two of them that are really used here. Okay, I show no voltage coming out. So, there's a problem with this thing. Voltage coming in, no voltage going out. Okay, let's find out why. Now I'm going to set my meters to ohm, my meter to ohms. And I have disconnected all power from this unit. If you're using ohm meter, you not only have to disconnect power, you have to disconnect the entire circuit going to it. Otherwise, you're going to get bleed backs through uh, loads and the like. So if you're going to test for ohms, you have to do it with the unit power off and the unit isolated. So I'm isolated here. I've got the probes on here, and do not put your fingers, at least both fingers, on these things. They will read a false reading. It will read mega ohms, but it will still read a reading. Okay, I'm OL. So that means my primary winding, that's the one that got the 120, we're stepping down to 24, the primary has failed. Now I can go here too, I don't need to at this point, but I can go there and see my secondary actually does have continuity. But again, when I check my primary, I do not have a circuit. So the transformer is bad. Okay, in uh, another video, we're going to talk about why the transformer failed. Usually the transformer is not the problem. It's the weakest link in the chain. So, if your transformer has failed, there's a procedure to go by to make sure that the second one does not break when you put it in. And we'll talk about that in the next video.